And welcome back. So for most of the day, we had partly cloudy skies out there. At times, there were more clouds than sun. And then after a few uh, hours or so, we saw as we made our way through midday, a few peaks of sunshine before we clouded up again into the evening. There were some areas that got some rain along with some thunder out there. Let's take a look at where uh, the current storms are right now. And you see that uh, we still have that one storm that is just off to the west of Wallace right now. Doesn't look too impressive. Could have some heavy rain and some lightning. Uh, some showers now from North Platte uh, out toward the Keith County border and up toward Tryon, Stapleton, and Fedford. Some light rain showers in that direction. And also, we do have uh, just one little thunderstorm off to the east of Broken Bow. Let's take a look at the history of this storm that is just off to the east of Grant as of right now. And this one actually started uh, about five hours ago. It started just off to the north of Scotts Bluff. It rode down uh, just uh, north of Oshkosh, uh, went south of Ogallala, and then off to the east of Grant, uh, basically uh, missing all the population centers. But at times, it did produce quarter size to half dollar sized hail and maybe some 60 mile per hour wind gusts but that was really the only severe storm in both uh, central and western Nebraska not a big severe weather maker but this uh, cold front is making its way through the warm air is exiting off to the east and now we're in a nice cool sector high pressure is going to work its way in we're going to have temperatures fall a little as we go through the day tomorrow but still stay on the warm side all the way through Thursday so how warm were we today into the mid to upper 80s for most of us North Platte Imperial upper 80s though that was uh, where the warmest air was 84 your high at Broken Bow in Lexington 82 at Thedford and at Valentine here's a look at the current temperatures across the region still near 70 North Platte Imperial Lexington and Broken Bow now, low to mid 60s as we make your way into our northern and western counties the wind has flipped around to a northerly direction wind speeds between 5 and 15 miles per hour that northerly wind will cool us off just a little. Here's a look at the sky cast. Any of the showers and thunderstorms should dissipate over the next couple of hours. And then as we make our way through the overnight, mostly clear to partly cloudy sky. Starting off uh, the day tomorrow into the mid 50s, uh, should be near 80 for a high temperature. Lots of sunshine as we make our way through the day on Wednesday. And for Thursday morning, starting off near 60. Thursday, we have sunshine in the morning. A strong south or west flow gets us to near 90. It looks like we are going to cloud up as we make our way through later on into the day on Thursday. Some showers and thunderstorms are possible, but we only put the chance at around 10 to 20 percent for Thursday night. So high pressures working its way in. Uh, we will really not spend a lot of time in the cool sector of this system because we're back to that high working its way after the sunshine for the next couple of days. Very strong southerly flow until this cold front makes its way through and that will be a dramatic cool down as we approach and then make our way through the weekend. Much cooler air is working its way in. A direct flow from the Arctic. Temperatures falling from near 90 on Thursday all the way to highs near 60 for Friday into Saturday and we will We'll stay mainly dry. A little more cloud cover out there, but we're going to keep uh, several days with the chances of some showers and thunderstorms at around 10 to 20 percent. So mainly dry, could have a shower and a major cool down as we finish out the work week and go through the weekend. 84 tomorrow with the sunny skies, partly cloudy on Thursday, high of 91 and then 60 on Friday and 61 on Saturday. Best chance of some showers Friday night into Saturday morning, 68 Sunday with partly cloudy skies. And then we rise back up through the 70s, maybe some more very slight chances of showers Monday into Tuesday. Ken? So we got something for everybody. For those who like the warm weather, they got the next couple days. And if they like the cooler weather, well, they have the weekend. Yeah, some heat for Thursday, but pretty cool this weekend with only 60s. All right, thanks so much, Justin. Well, every year there are expenses you know are coming from a family vacation to a holiday gift. Costs are predictable, but many are unprepared. And this Watching Your Wallet consumer investigator Rachel DePompa 